Hi and welcome to the installation of Stoked Pictures. The installation is the same for Stoked Pictures Pro and Basic. So let's just get started. This assumes you've already downloaded the program onto your desktop or somewhere and now you're going to unzip it and open up the folder. Click on how to install. Alright, download and unzip the package if you haven't already. We just did that. So our next step is to create a database. Alright, so go into your website cPanel and go down to MySQL Databases. And you need to create a database. I'll just name this one Stoked Pictures. Now we need to go back and now we're going to create a user because this it says we need a database, a user, and we need to give the user privileges for accessing and modifying the database. So now we scroll down to the bottom where it says username. Let's just do stoked, generate a password. Looks like a good password. Let's just use it. Now, this is a good time to go ahead and save this password. Open up something like Notepad. That's your password. Well, it's mine. It won't be the password by the time you get the program. But anyhow, so create user. You're going to need to use that password in a few minutes. All right. Now go back. We're going to assign this user there's no stoked to stoked pictures alright now see although I named it stoked I want a shared server so this is the the name of the folder that my host gave me and your host if you're on shared hosting which you probably are they gave you something similar so that's why it's gonna look like that so let's just add it We're adding a user to the database we're gonna give it all privileges and just about done with this part of the process okay let's just copy that that's alt C to copy and alt V to paste alright now we've got our password our user and our database okay now we need to open tables SQL which is found in admin forward slash tables We'll just go admin. I'm going to open tables with WordPad. And the instructions say to replace my database at name with your actual database name. So, going to see, it says uh, my database name here. It's got it all throughout the program or through this page. So, edit replace. going to replace it with the database name. Be sure it is not the username that you're copying. I'm just doing control C and to copy and control V to paste. Replace all. And you can see it replaces it all throughout the program. Hit save. Close it. Now Step four, go into our MySQL admin, which is actually PHP My Admin, and import that tables file that we just edited. So, actually, we're just going to go back to the beginning of the cPanel. And instead of going into MySQL databases where we just were, now we're going to go into PHP My Admin. Taking a moment to load here. All right, this shows you all of your databases over here. So I'm going to click on Stoked Pictures. That's the one we just made. All right. 
Now, so there's no there's no tables found in the database. So we're going to go click on import. And we're going to browse to the tables file that we just edited. And click on go. And uh, that's it. You can see now Stoke Pictures now has five tables. Take a look inside. It has a table named config, a table named login, pictures, popularity, and random. And it's going to have all of those tables even if you have the basic version which does not have the popularity feature. That's because it makes it very simple to upgrade your program if you want to upgrade it in the future to have the popularity features. Okay. I'm going to go back to uh, here to our instructions. Step 5 says place the Stoked Pictures folder on your website server. Let me minimize everything. I use FileZilla for my FTP. I'm going to connect to my website which is texassurfers.com. And I'm going to go to my desktop. Go inside the Stoked Pictures Pro folder. And this is the this is the folder we're going to put onto our web to the website. Okay. So this is the uh, root folder right here. It's the same place that has my index page. And we're just going to upload this. I'm going to give it a minute to upload all these files. And we're just about done. OK, I went ahead and paused the recording while I uploaded all of those files. They are now all uploaded, so I'm just going to close out um, the FTP and bring back up the how to install. It says navigate to this installation file. So I'm just going to copy that, come up here, paste it in, and you'll want to replace your website with whatever your website is. And this will take us to the first installation file. Okay. I'm going to walk you through this. The host, most of the time, it can stay as a local host. All right. We need to get the MySQ, MySQL username. This is the user right here. Now we need to get the database password. the name of the MySQL database I'm going to leave this as it is, pictures uh, it is the name of the table in the database so unless you actually come over here and rename this something else you need to leave that as it is and website name says it says notice I put this forward slash in it says be sure it has the forward slash okay um, folder to upload pictures to I'm gonna leave that as it is seconds to show pictures 30 seconds um, it, that means it's gonna show a picture for 30 seconds and it's gonna switch to a different picture uh, the image target well the self opens it on the same web page which is what I want you may want yours to open on a new web page uh, around the picture there can be a border. I don't want a border on mine. I'm going to leave that as it is. The font type, I don't care what it is. The font size of any captions. Personally, I don't even use the captions, so it doesn't matter what that is for me. I'm going to leave it at 2. And the image alignment, I do want it in the center, but you can put it as something else, left or right. All right, so let's, all those are filled in. Click Configure. Just about done here. Now let's type in a 